because something alive can give you life, something dead can give you life. So from something dead, nothing can grow, right? Mm -hmm. So it has to be alive. As soon as we like sweets, we said sweets, right? Candies, cookies, and that is a portion of the llama fetus, and that is a condor feather, right? Condor feather. And then we are going to start to put several, many other products. As this is buffet, right? More sweets, right? Because we like sweets. <coughs> Whatever we like, also we give it to Mother Earth, right? We like some cookies, for example, with the shape of different animals, right? That represents our cattle, you know, our animals in, in a house, uh, a home, right? Or the, or the ones we use it at some point. Then we have some seeds like corn, some beans as well, right? Because we like corn, we like beans, right? Later, of course, we're going to see some rice, right? We're going to see some other products. The, the little feather will represent a condor. Condor, puma, and the serpent mm -hmm. is the way we represent these three different dimensions. Mm -hmm. Condors are messengers of the gods. Mm -hmm. When they come down, their job is to deliver. Whatever we offer to them goes back up there. Mm -hmm. And the puma will represent this dimension we step on, right? Intelligent. We are putting smart. some sugar, also some rice, rice. but rice. sugar, uh, white sugar and brown sugar. Representing this Andean conception of duality. You know that everything in nature comes in couples male and female, sun and the moon, night and the day, right? Up and down, left and right, you know, yin and yang in some other cultures, everything comes in couples. We have some yama fat, right? We have some uh, salt, sugar, uh -huh. right? Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty as well. Right? And she have some incense. Incense. She also grab a piece of the fetus. A, a natural abortion, take this as a second chance. Because when we die, in the old days, everybody was buried in a fetal position. So you go back to give birth again. It's reborning conception, right? It's not reincarnation, it's a reborning. So you can always do the same in the next life. What is that? Representation in gold and silver and rainbow, right? Also, some uh, sheets of uh, gold and silver. You know, in, in uh, Indian times, we used to put a lot of pieces of gold and silver. And remember that in Indian times, gold and silver has not the same value as nowadays. Gold represents the sweat of the sun, and the silver are the tears of the moon. And it was used traditionally in a ritual way, utilitary or ornamental. It didn't have the same value as we used to have nowadays. And the cotton, you know, represents the clouds, right? Which is the upper, upper dimension. And then we have some, some more grains of gold and grains of silver, right? Representing the sun and the moon, of course. Also right? the stars. Also the stars. You know, you know, represents all the stars, constellations, right? And at the same time, joy. You said the fetus. The human fetus? No, no, no. no. Lama. 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 fetus. That is a so animal. Lama. animal fetus. Yeah, Lama. 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 That's a Yama or a Lama. fetus. But therefore, sometimes, it's never been proved. Apparently, they also use human fetus. I mean, they never killed the pregnant lady to get the fetus. It was a natural abortion. It's a natural abortion, it's a second opportunity. Right? To remove. If you like to take pictures, this is the time because we're going to wrap this and we're going to burn. The ashes stays in Mother Earth and the smoke goes up to the higher dimension. So now is the time to take the pictures, my friends. You see a lot of confetti, a lot of colorful confetti. It's joy, it's happiness, it's the rainbow, right? Yeah, if you want, just get closer and take your pictures. What is the uh, mm -hmm. horseshoe? Horseshoe. For, for. Uh, the horseshoe, the horses, for example, we introduced from, uh, from Spain, from Europe, right? But then it's, uh, the energy is coming in and getting out, right? It's a perfect um, balance 
What's the point? A magnet. You say it's a magnet. It's attractive, yeah, not even positive karma, right? Well, the horses, you know, usually you place them at the entrance of your house. Mm -hmm. You place two of them. One pointing inwards, the other one pointing outwards. Mm -hmm. When the horse walks, mm -hmm. I mean, the one that is pointing inwards to your house, it's like the energy being called into your house. It's supposed to be the positive energy. Mm -hmm. And the other one that is facing the other direction is supposed to be taking the bad energy out. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's considered an amulet. But it's something that was, uh, well, the visual by Pakistan, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a ritual this way in every household? Or Along the Andes, indeed, since ancient times, in every place in the Andes, in the Andes we do this, but mainly in August. Uh, yeah, because it's the more for family, for friends, for the house, for livestock, for the plant, for healthy issues, for anything. Right? And does it matter how often? I mean, at least once a year. Once a year. At least once a year. At least once a year. Uh, my friends, uh, very important please. Now she'll wrap this, put it in a beautiful textile clothing, right? And she'll go one by one, rub it over your heads, and then you should blow three times. You'll breathe, exhale over the package and tell your name to her. Blow three times. Blow three times. And then your name. It's it, the fact that you're exciting, you know, bringing over the package is your kind of inner soul going in this package. That's how we get you spiritually involved in this, right? Just, just your name. Just your name. And just an exile three times. Exile three times first. And then you're